Hi, you're listening to Watchmen on the Pod, and this is Pamela. We're going to continue in our inspirationals in the book of Proverbs today. And we're going to be reading Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. And remember, the, the first reading comes from the Revised Standard Version. And the second reading comes from the World English Bible. Proverbs 4, verse 23. Keep your heart with all diligence, for from it flows the springs of life. From the World English Bible, it says, Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it is the wellspring of life. And the prayer we have is, O Lord, how many things compete for my attention? Many of them are worthy endeavors, yet I don't want to be distracted by temporary delights and miss investing my life in the true passions of my heart, the passions you have placed in me and me alone. Help me keep my heart pure, Lord. Give me the discernment to know which emotions to allow full reign and which to keep in check. My heart is too precious to me and to you for me to fill it with the wrong motives and desires, Lord. May I always live my life through you. And that is so very important. There's so many distractions in this world today. Things, you know, not everything is evil. Not everything is bad. But if we put them before God, then it becomes an idol. He doesn't want you not to have joy or to have fun. Yes, he does. There's many things that you could do. But always put him first. And then enjoy it. Just like when you wake up in the morning. You know, if go to him in prayer first and foremost. Spend your day with your kids, with your boyfriend, with your husband, with your parents, whatever. Go swimming. Go camping. Go to a baseball game. Go to a football game. Have a picnic. Do something. Enjoy yourself. He wants you to enjoy yourself. But he doesn't want you to be distracted with the foolish things of this world. There's so much going on that a lot of times, especially those in the faith, are falling down rabbit holes, trying to gain super knowledge. Knowledge that God is not even wanting you to understand because if he did, he would have it in his word. So this knowledge that a lot of people are gaining is not knowledge that God has offered to us, but it's knowledge that Satan is putting out there just as he did with Adam and Eve. And he told Eve, oh, did God really say? He was trying to indicate that God was trying to hide something good from them. That's not so. That's not so at all. Keep your eyes on Jesus. I love you all.